I'm not gonna lie guys, I had another half of half down style plan and it is not happening. Cause this is way harder than it looks. My arm muscles twitching cause it hurts. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So, I am in a good mood. However, throughout this video, I am not in a good mood because I had such a hard time doing this freaking style. Like, I, this came out so much better than I thought it would because I struggled. And you guys will see that. I hope you watch the entire video so you can see from start to finish what I went through to get here. Um, yeah, it was a lot of work. So I mean, I hope the, the work I put into this video is worth it. If you enjoyed at the end, or maybe if you enjoyed in the middle, if you're enjoying it right now, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because you're probably gonna come back anyways, because I get the feeling you guys like me, at least recently, because you guys been showing me a lot of love lately, so I'm just assuming. But anyways, I'm talking a lot now. Um, I'ma shut up, I'ma let you just watch this video. And uh, let me know your thoughts at the end, man, because this, yeah, it was a lot, for sure. All right, so first we're gonna start on the frontal. I'm gonna bleach the knots. Um, you want a consistency that's like cream cheese, but a little thinner. Sour cream, that's what Alonzo Arnold says, sour cream. And I smoothed it out with a butter knife. I learned this trick from, uh, what's her name? What's her name, oh my God. Chrissy Bales, Chrissy Bell. she taught me this trick, it's amazing. And I let it stay on the frontal for 35 minutes, I rinsed it and then I bleached it twice actually. I always bleach my frontals twice because I feel like the first time is never enough. But I'm also too scared to leave the bleach on for like an hour straight. So I rinse it off, see what it's looking like and then I'll bleach it a second time for 20 more minutes. And the knots are typically perfect after the second time. And so uh, yeah, that's what I did. And then I rinsed it with some purple shampoo. I didn't have to let the purple shampoo sit on the lace because one, it's transparent. And two, the uh, bleach I used has like a purple tint to it. So it tones while it bleaches. So it's not too brassy or too orange. But if the frontal or lace is too orange, then let the shampoo sit on the lace for about 20 minutes and you're good to go. All right, so here's my test bundle. I want to make sure I got the color right before I commit it to the entire, you know, set of hair. And I'm gonna start off with this dye from L'Oreal, the True Red. I'm gonna mix with 40 volume developer now if you do not want to use a trash bag or you don't have like a little cloth to like do hair dye on use a grocery bag because I know we all save up on these or you know like we hoarder these and we don't always use them so I just cut the little handles off and I cut it like this I don't really know how to explain what I'm doing just watch and I spread it out and it's perfect because at the end of the day I always save my grocery bags and I have a huge bag of grocery bags and I'm not gonna use all these so I use it for this because I don't have you know a little thingy to dye my hair on and I don't want to use a trash bag so I think that's wasteful so I unravel the bundle before I dye it this is the best way to dye your bundles if you want to make sure every piece of hair is coated and you just like fold it like this you want to look like this to make sure you know you're coating all of the hairs if you dye the hair with a bundle like already bundled up you're not gonna be get the roots of the bundle and I mean unless you want that then do what I just did. All right, so I am gonna pour the tube of dye in. I'm gonna use a lob developer because I want this dye to spread. And because I did a test bundle, I know that using a lob developer isn't gonna dilute the color. Um, I think it actually made it a little stronger. And so I poured it directly onto the bundle and I just massaged it into the hair. And because I used so much developer and like the dye is a little runny, it was so easy to put this into the bundles. You guys, this process was so, so, so easy. So I let this color process for 45 minutes and before I rinsed it out or while I was letting it process, I started to layer some free spray onto my frontal. That way when I dye the frontal, I'm protecting the lace and I will get back to this later. But when you rinse the dye off the bundles, you'll see that the dye worked. However, it's not as red as Rihanna's is. And so this is where I do the watercolor method and I'm gonna take this dye from Kiss Colors in the shade Crimson, I believe. I should be right. Is it crimson? Yeah, it's crimson. And I do the watercolor method and I like, you know, obviously pour the dye into some hot water. I whisk it up and I dip the hair like that. I'm gonna add a little more red dye because I realized that I had too much water in comparison to like dye, so I need more dye. But this is how you're gonna get that red like tone but it's not gonna be like vivid red but as you can see like i'm comparing the two bundles and it just gives you that red that we're going for this is inspired by rihanna so that's what we're going for so for the frontal i flipped it over and i just really took my time i don't show this entire process because it's very very slow this took me about 
30 minutes um, because you really want to take your time because you do not want the dye to touch the frontal. Getting red dye, honestly any dye, but red dye in particular on frontals is so annoying. And you might as well kiss it goodbye, all right? I mean, there's ways you can fix it or like, you know, help it look better. It's just, it's annoying. It's just, it's an eyesore. So um, I just took my time on this and as I'm going to show you guys what the frontal looks like once I'm done dyeing. I only got dye like on like the bottom half where I was a little more reckless but as far as like the front of the hairline it looked pretty good to me and so um I had the dye to the rest of the frontal and I let it sit for 45 minutes I rinsed it and as you can see I didn't get too much dye on the frontal at all just like like I said at the bottom parts which I didn't mind at all because you don't see that part anyway. So now I don't like putting Vaseline on my front toes because it's really annoying getting it out. But because I have to dip dye, if I didn't put Vaseline, it would have tinted my frontal red and it just it wouldn't have been okay. So I applied Vaseline to my frontal. I learned this trick from Alf, and I think Rosh does this as well. Um and I just dip dyed the frontal. I went and I made the wig. I glued it, so it took me about two and a half hours. And here we are. So I, uh, this part's gonna be really short because it's a waste of my time. But I figured that would be easier to style the wig on the mannequin head, which it was. But because this frontal was really big, this was a waste of my time because you know it looked great on the, the the head. You know I styled it, but the frontal was really big, so I ended up having to cut it, and this was pointless. I just you know at least wanted to show you guys you know a little bit of what I did. But in a second, we'll be in the studio, and uh yeah, we're gonna get this wig situated. All right guys, as you can see from my clock, it is almost three in the morning. Um, I'm quite tired, it's just I wanna at least, I wanna do as much as I can with this wig before I go to bed, just so tomorrow it's easier for me. So, I've already sewed an elastic band on it so it could fit my head. I just could tell based on how I sewed the frontal on, I'm gonna have to re-sew my elastic band because it's like, can explain it, but it's just, it's not fitting right. I'm gonna do the ponytail over too, cause I know that when I cut off the elastic band, it's gonna cut off hair from this ponytail. So I might as well just take this out right now. But I have the general form of it. So at least it'll be easier to put it back in. Where's my scissors? I know that when I cut this off, cause I obviously need to frame my face, but like the frontal, because it was like a, I think it's like a 13 by six, it's really long. So. We have a lot of extra frontal. I'm just gonna start cutting for my ear, but as you can see, you see where my elastic band is? I'm gonna have to cut that off and just re-sew it or replace it. Cause where it's at right now, it's not gonna work. And as I predicted, there's some hair in the frontal. So let's see, does this look good? Yep. I'm gonna have to cut a little more off, but I could do that later. I just wanna at least size the frontal and like, you know, at least get a general idea of how things are gonna go tomorrow. We'll figure it out, okay? Whew. I hate doing this ear, it's always harder. But I, I usually just drag my scissors, as you can see, there goes that elastic band. We're losing her, it's okay. Um, let's pull my ear out. And when I re-sew it, oh, I definitely just cut off too much. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see, maybe if I like twist it. No, I definitely cut off too much. Oh my lord. That's so... <sighs> it's like once you cut it, it's gone. I have no time to get mad right now. I think that looks decent. I just have to cover that empty spot since I freaking cut off too much lace. <sighs> this is way more challenging than the last wig I did. This is like so much harder. I've never done um, a half up, half down on a wig before. I don't know if you guys even knew that, but I don't think I've ever done this before. And if I did, I don't remember. But man, this is way more difficult. Like. Usually I play it safe and I'll just do a middle part, but this is an actual style. So I think in order to best execute this and make my life easy, 
I think in the morning, um, I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm going to re-sew the elastic band somewhere back here just so it's more security. And I think what I'm gonna do, and I don't wanna do it, but I think in order to get this to look as natural and like flat as possible, I think I'm gonna glue it. I think I'm gonna glue it for sure. It just sucks that the hair color doesn't look like the color of guys, but like, if you look at the photos, the color looks so, it looks different in all different lights. Like in the photo she posted on Instagram, however she edited it, it looks really, really red. But at her BET speech, it looks like this color in certain lights. But then when she's in the sun, it looks lighter. And so we'll know the true color tomorrow when I'm able to be in the sun, and I'll show you guys. But it's, it's a really tricky color to get for sure. But that looks okay. That looks decent for sure. All right, I am gonna go to sleep now. I'm really tired and we'll resume this in the morning now that I know what I have to do. I knew I want to cut the size because I knew I was gonna eventually have to do it. I just want to at least show you guys that. I don't want you guys to feel like you're missing out on any of the process, but I'll see you guys in the morning because I'm tired. All right guys, good morning. Um, It's time to install this wig. I hope things come out right. I'm gonna just jump right into it. I literally just got the shower, but we gotta install this wig because I still gotta do my makeup. I gotta film that push for Instagram TV. I forgot to glue my nail back on, it broke off. Hold on, I let me go glue this nail back on, I almost forgot. We're glued back on. Ooh, I would've been so mad if I filmed the whole video without a nail on. <laughs> Although like my nails are destroyed, you guys probably can't even see, but like they're like different colors because when I was dyeing the hair, I don't know why, but the glove like got a hole in it and it dyed my thumb, it dyed this finger. So I gotta do a new set anyways. But anyways, um, let's get started. So I'm gonna take this gel by, ORS. So what I'm learning about this gel, and I'm gonna say this before I do my sponsored content for them, because I don't think I can mention other brands when I do. This gel is like a better version of the got to be black tube gel. That's what I think. It's like, it, the texture is very similar, reminds me of it, but it's slightly thicker and it dries faster and has a stronger hold. That's what I've noticed about this gel. And so, if you like that gel, you will 100% like this one because this one is like that gel, but on steroids, essentially. So I sewed on my elastic band and it feels really tight and secure, but you can still see the sides of my hair. So what I think I'm gonna do is, after I mold this down, I'm just gonna use a red shadow to like cover that up. I mean, because I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just definitely, you could tell it's like, my real hair, but I think if I like get like a red burgundy shadow that's like this color and I fuse it together, it shouldn't be that obvious. <sighs> ah, okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I would use freaking bold hole, but I don't want glue on my head right now. So I'm gonna take this gel. And I'm gonna put a layer of that down. On top of that gel, just for extra security, I'm gonna put this got to be free spray. Then we use this blow dryer and cool to like make it tacky. Before it gets too tacky, I'm just gonna like Put the lace down, just so it could start melting. Okay, so that's, ooh, that feel tired as hell, but I'm paranoid, so I look crazy. I'm gonna put another layer of this spray on. Thin layer though, not too much. I'm lying, I'm probably gonna put another layer. <laughs> and don't worry, like all like the extra that gets on your forehead, you can just wipe it off with a warm towel. Oh. So before I cut the lace off, I'm gonna take this like satin silkish scarf that I got from Erica J. I think I wanna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap it and tie that down. While that lace melts, I am going to curl this hair 
since her hair is curly in the photos. I don't really know what's up with these pieces that are shorter with the rest of the hair. I don't really like that, but I'll just use like a, a wax stick to lay those down after I curl the hair. So I start to curl the hair without looking at the picture first. And one, I was using one. Her curls aren't even that defined. And her hair is shorter than this wig. So I'm gonna cut off like this much. Cause her hair kind of goes like, it's pretty short. Well not short, but you know what I mean? It's not as long as this. So I'm gonna cut off like, what is this? Like three, four inches? Just so I can, you know, have an accurate look. By the way, it's like with the frontal, it's gonna be tricky making that look natural because I don't know if you can tell in the photo, but I think her natural hair is out. Like, obviously she has extensions in the back. Like that front part for her half up, half down, that's obviously her real hair. So it's like, it's gonna be tricky to get the frontal to mock that. I might have to add like a baby hair or two just to make it look a little more natural. Although in her photo, I don't think she has baby hairs. Oh no, they're super duper duper light. Okay, so I'll do like the lightest baby hairs I could possibly do. If you can hear my flat irons because it vibrates. Well, it has a feature where you can turn the vibration on. I'm gonna brush those out. Like they're going away from her face. Let me see. Okay. Before I remove this little scarf, I'm actually gonna like perfect my ponytail only because I don't wanna like put too much friction on this. And with this scarf holding it down, like it'll make it more secure, if that makes sense. Like I'm kind of scared because I didn't use bold hold. Like a super strong hold, I'm kind of scared to like tug on it too much, or I feel like my lace might lift. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, guys. I had another half of half down style plan, and it is not happening. Cause this is way harder than it looks. My arm muscles twitching because it hurts. This is the last half of half style, blah blah, whatever you guys will see in this series. Last one. Like I wish I could grab more hair from this side, but then you'll be able to see the tracks. So it's like, I think what I need to do is add enough hair to this to where it covers this like weird looking side. You know what I mean? So I have leftover tracks. And I'm gonna just wrap it around this ponytail. Am I bugging or does this look too high? <sighs> Hers is not that hot. It's cause of scrunchie I have. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm gonna go take a break. My arms hurt and I'm gonna come back and do this. All right guys, so I went and I redid the ponytail only because I realized that in order to get it to lay not as flat but as back as possible was for me to like tilt my head back. And so that's what I did. I did the same thing where I wrapped it around. I'm gonna like cut the hair a little bit only because the bundles are still long so it's not matching up with the other hair okay I'm gonna take this scarf off now if my lace gives me any issues I'm gonna go eat some bacon and biscuits and lay down and kind of give up cuz at this point my patience is just running very Low or thin, I don't even know the same for that. I think I need to tease this a little bit so that there's no empty spaces. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but like, I just know. You know when you know you can do something better, but you don't know how? Lace, I just need you to just come through for me, please. You see, I've been going through it. Oh, this is molded down. I'm out of mold. Oh! all my little hairs on my forehead. Oh my lord. Oh. Uh, uh. Take you some water on a napkin. And I'm not only wiping the excess spray, but I'm wiping on top of the lace. Cause it needs to just be like, re 
moistened or whatever the heck. Okay, I did my baby hairs. I'm trying to debate if I want to add more. I tried to keep them as light as possible because hers seem to be very, very light. But like I said, hers is going to look better and different because that's her natural hair. And I was kind of thinking I want to dye my natural hair too, but that's another story. At least the ponytail part covers the side where I cut too much lace off. The only thing that's bothering me is this sharp line right here. I'm just really scared to try to alter that. Like, I think that what I can do is cut a little bit more lace off, but it's like it's already so melted. But what I can do is like wet it a little bit to loosen it. And then cut like a zigzag, because it looks very harsh to me. And obviously I don't want that. I should have used a, um, a eyebrow razor when cutting this lace off. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking, obviously. See, that looks a little better. Like the more I cut the zigzag, the less you can see the lace. So that's a good thing. That looks much better. So I'm going to cut a little bit more. The more I cut it in zigzag, it looks better. I just know I cannot wait to do a middle part with this wig. Uh. I just think it's interesting that in my last video, the coloring part was hard and the styling part was just a breeze. Whereas this video, the coloring part was easy. It's the styling part that's just really giving me a run for my money, man. And I don't appreciate that. Like, I'd rather struggle dyeing the hair versus installing it. I'd much rather deal with that. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna go make breakfast before I lose my mind. I am going to do my full face and makeup and I think that this will look better with makeup and if it doesn't then like I don't know but like I think that what we should do is do our face to kind of get an idea of what we're looking like and I want to take this ponytail out so bad you guys I think what I'm gonna do is do my face and then go from there I think I'm not seeing the full vision right now, you know, because my makeup's not done. So after I do my makeup, you know, if we still need to do some tweaking, we'll do that. This would be the last time I do a half up, half down. The very last time. Mark my words. With the wig, this is the last time. I don't think it looks terrible, but it's just like, you guys know what I mean. It's just something is just... I'm gonna eat some food, do my makeup, and I'll be back, okay? All right, guys, I did my makeup, and honestly, this don't look that bad. I added like another little baby hair. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, guys, these studio lights are doing my lace so much justice because in real life, I'm clocked, okay? So just know that when you see my photos on Instagram, I face tuned the hell out of this lace because in real life, you can kind of clock it. I feel like these studio lights are really trying to help me out here, trying to give me some extra assistance, but in real life, yeah, no, this lace, no, 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 just all types of nails, but I feel like this looks really good. Like, it looks pretty, I wouldn't say identical. It looks pretty close enough to uh, the photo where I pulled inspo from. Now, the only thing I'm sad about is that I did not film this makeup look because I was in a rush because I'm filming this video pretty close to where I need to post. Um, so instead of the makeup look going up on Saturday, which is what my plan was, I'm just gonna post it Saturday. I'll just refilm it. By then, I'm gonna have this wig in the middle part though because when I tried to film this makeup look, because I started to, I was like, uh-uh, like you could see my lace way too much and I don't mind getting clocked on YouTube. It's, I feel like it's a safer space here but Instagram is a different type of dragging and then it's like say a page repost your video then it's like it's not even your people dragging you it's some randoms and you can't even go delete those comments because not on your page and I just wasn't about to throw myself to the wolves like that so I'm gonna do this makeup look over I'm just gonna do a middle part to where you can't really see my lace because she could be clocked like I said but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm honestly really satisfied with how like the overall look came out I did struggle doing this video I did mainly with the installing part the color part didn't really give me much issues but i didn't know where this was gonna go and i stayed up to like four in the morning last night working on this my shoulders are so sore you guys like i'm in a lot of pain doing this video so if you made it to this part 
I want you to comment an X and that X will stand for me never doing a half up half down style with a frontal because this is harder than it looks. Um, I'm not gonna discourage you. It could be because I'm not a pro. I'm pretty sure there are people who could do this, you know, super easily. It's not me. I'm not that guy and I know my limits and I think this I reached my limit and I'm never doing this again because it's so freaking hard and my arms hurt and my shoulders hurt and I'm in pain. All right, so I will see you guys on Monday. Um, my next transformation will be on Friday. It should be way easier than this. I hope I don't want to jinx myself. All right, I'm gonna shut up now and I'll see you guys on Monday.